Guys, today we are reacting to Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay trying fermented fish. So we have reacted to, um, I don't know. I'm not going to be able to say the Swedish, uh, Sorstruming. Is that, is that how you say it? Sorstruming? Sorstruming. Surstroming, I think that's how you say it. Anyways, we have reacted to that video where um, people were trying out surstroming. Actually, it was Swedish, a Swedish family showing how you should eat it uh, traditionally. Because many people eat surstroming out of the can without even washing, rinsing. Just open it, take a big whiff, and just, you know, chew it. And some people from Sweden in the comments had said, we don't even eat that. Like, not even us, not even Swedish people eat that without washing it before and stuff like that. I don't know. Let me know how you eat it in the comments. But um, I don't think this is surströming. This is fermented fish, which basically is the same thing. But we're going to watch this anyways and see how Gordon reacts to fermented fish. I've still got lots to learn, so I'm off to... Is this Sweden, by the way? Or is this Norway? I've still got lots to learn, so I'm off to try a traditional Christmas dish that I hear tastes much better than it smells. Now, trust me, I want to get the best of Christopher, and I'm up here to meet two guys who make this amazing delicacy that can only be found here. The key word being delicacy. First of all, I'm excited to see and taste this incredible delicacy, and it's rockfish. Rockfisk. 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 Fisk. Fisk. Rock fisk. Rock. Rock fisk. What's so hard? Rock fisk. Rock fish. Rock fisk. Rock fisk. Rock fisk. 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 Rock fisk. Rock fisk. Rock fisk. Rock fish. No. Rock fisk. Rock fisk. Okay. After what seems like hours of saying the same thing back and forth, Arnstein and his nephew Magnus show me how they make the crown jewel of their family business. He said it makes you strong. What's so hard about saying rockfisk? Am I saying that right? Fermented fish. What oh, smell? That is strong. Is that normal? That's strong. Yeah. Is rock a word meaning salt? Or is it meaning fermented? Because I have a I have a hint, hunch. I have a hunch that rock is is associated with um, sea salt. Trout and what is that one there? This is Arctic char. Arctic char. And how long do you cure it for? It's in for three months. Bloody what? Hell. So you pack it with salt. Yeah. And then sugar as well. Sugar. So it cures it. Yeah, exactly. For three and how months. Long is this method dates back to the Viking age. Now the it's Vikings. more popular than ever. Shall we? And I, um, I'm sure that this method was not necessarily to ferment the fish at first I, th I would assume guys i'm not saying it this is true you can correct me in the comments but i would assume that this was a method of um, preserving the fish because they didn't have fridges back then but then again it's so cold why would you need fridge a anyways but i think the the fact was that it was um it was meant to preserve the fish and then maybe somebody you know ate it and thought you know this is actually it tastes good uh, let's leave it for more time and then they came up with the recipe of three months and then I, I would assume that's how it it all started um they used to use salt because this is actually how they used to ship um in the past or like before having coolers and ref refrigerators um salt was being used to import or export rather fish so that it would be preserved especially cod from portugal let's say um that's why the cod was so salty or is so salty does that make sense did i explain that correctly but also don't fact check me <laughs> or do first you put salt in the belly gotcha. like this and you just put them in the bucket and then it's heads tails head tails all the way through opposite yeah and because you build exactly doesn't, doesn't look pretty straight doesn't look like it smells bad though forward 
or so I thought. But the Rackfisk master is not impressed. Too much? Too much. Too much? Yes. Less salt. How's that one, Uncle? Ah, good. Good? Thank God for that. I Come on, Gordon. Can't you cook? <laughs> How does it feel? How does it feel? Never seen this method before like this. It's only here in Röros uh, and uh, Valdres. So it literally is indigenous to this area? It is. We're very and proud. It's very popular, especially around Christmas. Nice. Oh, no, 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 no. Little more. Little more. You have to use your wrist. Nay, 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 nay. So. There you it. go. Ah, perfect. Man, your uncle's amazing. Do you ever upset him? Yeah, a lot of times. Yeah. <laughs> He's better. Good. Good, better. He's happy now. He's been a little bit tough on me. You have been for, with me for 10 years as well. He's, he's a proper Viking. I'm dying to taste it. Perfect. Oh, there it is there. After three months. Wow, After three months. There. See, it doesn't look like it has a foul smell. It doesn't look like it's it's that bad. On the videos that I watched for, of Sursroming, a lot of people were basically going sick just by the smell of it. Gordon seems really relaxed. Yeah, it's strong. It's a cross between a sort of cured salmon, but with a Vacheran cheese. It was so strong, very acidic. Yeah, this is not very strong. That's not very strong? No. Let's try a stronger one. No, stop it. <laughs> let's try, yeah. Let's, stronger than that. Let's try our special Christmas batch. Bloody hell. Oh my goodness. I'm worried that special, in this case, is not a good thing. So... You know how people like stinky cheese? Because it's... um you know, fermented and uh, like moldy cheese. I think this is the a delicacy. Do they call it stinky fish? Because you call it stinky cheese, right? So I don't know. But I think that's the the maybe the dry age taste, because he said it tastes like cured, cured salmon, but then a mix with kind of like a blue cheese um, taste. I, I would imagine it tastes like that. What's special about this batch? We have had it in the barrel for a longer amount of time. Oh, so three months is not the limit? You can go further? Now, oh my god, the smell of that. Bloody hell. Okay, now he's complaining. <laughs> if it smells that bad, why would you put your whole nose into the bucket and take a big whiff? Ah, bloody hell. It doesn't look very appetizing. <laughs> The smell gets stronger the farther down the, bu the bucket you go. Bloody hell. <laughs> Seriously. Dig oh in. Oh my god. This is sticky as... Oh my <laughs> goodness. You don't eat this, do you? Oh my god. You like that smell? Yes. Oh no. No. He's just making juice. fun of him. The colour of the juice. That's the right texture. Can you, can you cut that? Is this a joke? Oh my lord. Oh my god. You can't like, joke with food. Why is this so That's not a joke, a Gordon. Rare delicacy when it stinks. You should not think about the smell, it's the flavor. No. <laughs> no, no, no. That's the right texture. Oh no. Oh no, you did not. Oh no, you did not. Oh, you did not. It's the right texture. How dare you, National Geographic? How dare you? Oh my goodness. Oh my, they, they, oh, they just reaction blocked us. Bro, uh, the moment we were supposed to see his reaction eating that stinky, sticky fish, they ended the video. Oh no, you didn't. <laughs> Anyways, guys, um, I think we got the idea. Um, it's a delicacy. It smells worse than it tastes um people normally love it or hate it so i guess we get the whole gist of it but let me know your thoughts do you like it do you hate it is it like marmite like you know people love it and hate it is it like caviar people love it or hate it i would love to try some of these snacks Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care now. Bye-bye. Now you can get full access to exclusive content, special reactions to shows, series, anime, full movies, and even request a video of your choice. Just become a YouTube member or join Buy Me A Coffee today. Find out more. The link is in the description. Never break. Always fight. Never quit. Do it right.